Hey y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, no gym today. I uh, woke up like normal, but I'm not gonna lie, I had some things on my mind. And I tried my best not to like let stuff overwhelm me, but it kind of did. I was sitting on the toilet just trying to get myself together mentally, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Got my mind together, but it took, it put me like 30 minutes behind, like my schedule that I set for myself. And so now I'm like, oh, should I go? Should I not? I'm doing my morning stuff that I know, always do, making my breakfast, making content, the same thing I always do. And then I just decided, you know what? I think today I'm not going to go to the gym. So I decided that normally I'm out the door by 7 a.m. And it was 7.30. I had my gym bag packed and everything. And I was like, I think today will just be a rest day, active rest day. So I'm still going to work out. I'll go on a walk. When I go on the walk, like a long walk, though, not like a mile, but like three or four miles at a moderate pace. Nothing where I'm like huffing and puffing, but still going to be active. Just no gym today. I hate doing that. I hate not <laughs> gymming. Because one, you guys know I love the gym. But two, it sometimes I feel bad when I don't stick with the plan. I've gotten a lot better at it, but sometimes I do find myself feeling bad, like, oh, you know, this is, it's like, am I trying to make excuses or... I'm trying to stay consistent. Um, does this mean I don't have discipline? You know what I mean? Because it wasn't like a scheduled rest day. Like our scheduled rest days are Saturday. So, you know, I was just like, here it is Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm taking this rest day. But it's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. Like I would have in the past. Like I had before. I, I'm working on giving myself grace and I've gotten a lot better at it but I still have a long ways to go and that's just me being honest I've talked to you guys before I'm really good at being a bully to myself or I used to really be one but that has also gotten better um and you should listen to your body you should listen to your muscles you know if your body is tired if you're sleepy Sometimes even if you don't feel like it, it's like your body just telling you, hey, I need a break. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I struggle with that because I'm so just trying to stick to the schedule. So I took a rest day. So there won't be a, you'll still see a gym vlog today because that was yesterday's video, but you won't see one tomorrow. Tomorrow... I don't know what we'll do. I still have to make the chickpea curry. So we might make that. I'm not too sure. Just going to still continue to make content, do all the things that I would normally do in the house. So, you know, I'm not necessarily like off off, but as far as going to the gym today, I'm taking my rest day and I'm still gonna eat right. Still going to do everything, go to bed on time. You know, it's just, I just, I guess, I, I guess my body just needed a break and you know, it, it sucks. Like I said, it sucks, but I've already mentally prepared myself. Like don't beat yourself up. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Like life moves on, you know, it's, it's really just not trying to let myself down. And then I do have a fear of, and so it's actually, it's funny because someone in the comments had brought this to my attention when I was working out every day and they were like I wonder if the reason why you're so afraid to take a rest day is because you're afraid you'll lose momentum and I resonated with that comment this was months ago I resonated with that comment because I would be the person like if I took a break from something I would never come back to it and so it was, it was pretty cool for someone to like challenge me and make me think about that. And I think they were right. 
I think that because I know the patterns that I used to have in my past, I would be afraid to take a rest day because my fear would be one rest day is going to turn to two and then two is going to turn to three. And then next thing you know, it's been three weeks and we haven't gymmed and then I'm slowly gaining my weight back. Like that was my fear of taking a rest day. This was when I was working out every day. And so I've been working on reminding myself that I am not the same woman that I was before my weight loss journey. I have evolved so much and taking a rest day or taking a break or taking time to myself doesn't mean that I don't, doesn't mean that I enjoy the activity any less. It doesn't mean that I'm incapable of being consistent with something. And it doesn't mean I lack discipline. It means that I am taking a break and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So, you know, I love reading y'all's comments because you guys have really good insight for me, especially because I do spend so much time by myself. <laughs> like I've told you guys, I don't really get to see, I really don't get to uh, experience anyone else's perspective. So, you know, I really appreciate you guys so much. And y'all don't even know how much you guys motivate me because there are plenty of days where I really don't feel like filming or going but I still go because I'm like I don't want to give them an excuse <laughs> like really I do and so you guys hold me accountable in so many ways and I'm just so appreciative for the support that you guys give me the words of encouragement I really really need that and I didn't realize how much I needed it until I started documenting my journey on YouTube so I will be forever thankful for you guys for that. And yeah, it's just a midweek rest day. <laughs> it's, you know, the gym, it takes up a good portion of my day from the drive to now I'm, I'm in the gym for two hours because I uh, get on the elliptical or the Stairmaster for 20. Then I do my mobility stuff. Then I do the actual lift. So then I stretch sometimes <laughs> still working on being consistent with that there's definitely room for improvement there but uh i'm in the gym for about two hours and then we have our car chats and then the drive home so you know going to the gym is about a four hour ordeal because of all of those things that i do taking pictures so it's a lot it can be a lot, <laughs> but I enjoy it, That which is how I'm able to do it damn near every day. But I say all that to say, you know, I guess it's kind of like for me calling out from work. Right? <laughs> Just called out today. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, will I still take Saturday off? I don't know. We'll play it by ear. I'm not going to make any promises. If I feel up for it, you know, we may just go. Saturday tends to be a really busy day at the gym. That's why I chose Saturday as the rest day, just because it's so busy in there Saturday mornings. But if I get up early enough and I'm feeling up for it, my body's not hurting or anything like that or sore, then yeah, we'll go. If not, you know, if I decide, hey, you know, I think I'll take one more rest day, then we'll just have two rest days this week. I'm just really focusing on giving myself grace, understanding that I'm human, things happen, and, you know, ultimately, you just sometimes, <laughs> just sometimes, right? It's just, it just is what it is. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll probably make another video a little later. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'll probably make another video a little later. Chit chat with y'all. Might go over some food, things like that. But just wanted to share that with you guys. Bye.